Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and happy Friday. It is Friday at 6.22 a.m. and I just pulled into my WW workshop. So if you didn't know or didn't watch my weigh-in video from last Friday, this week I did the Wendy plan again. It went superbly. I actually really enjoy the Wendy plan. I find that I feel much more in control and I don't know if it's because I'm tracking my splurge day or if it's because I do have a fluctuation in points daily. So if I'm really kind of craving something, I know that I can incorporate that possibly the next day in my higher point day. I haven't quite figured out what I like so much about the Wendy plan or not even maybe so much the Wendy plan, but the rotation of points. Some high point days, some low point days. I just really like it. I feel much more in control. I feel much more satisfied because I'm not limited to just my daily points the entire week after I've had my splurge or my cheat day. So I'm loving it. I'm loving the Wendy plan. In fact, I'm going to do it again next week and see if I can get some good results again. So my week went awesome. It went really good. Now I didn't do any walking the first three days of the week. My stomach was bothering me so much. I woke up every day with just kind of a stomach ache and then I'd go to bed with a stomach ache. So I just decided not to push it with the walking plus super sore from the week prior and all the activity. And I didn't want it to negatively impact my weight loss just being sore and then sore and sore for another entire week. So I skipped the walking this week. I am picking it back up on Monday. So I'm ready to get back into my morning exercise, but my food was awesome. Yeah, my week was excellent. So I can't wait to weigh in and see what happens on the scale. So I'll be back shortly with not only a recap of what we talked about, but my weigh in and we'll talk a little bit more about my plans for the next week on the Wendy plan. Hey guys, I just got out of my WW workshop. It was such a fantastic topic. One that I think that a lot of us on WW struggle with, and that is healthy fats versus unhealthy fats. I know for myself, sometimes I struggle with wanting to spend my points on healthy fats, such as olive oil or nuts or seeds. I, I struggle wanting to spend my points on those. So the first thing that I think we need to determine is what is considered a saturated saturated or an unhealthy fat and what is considered a healthy fat. So someone in my workshop today shared something that I never thought of that is such an easy way to remember if what you're eating is considered a saturated or an unsaturated fat. So if the item that you're eating is solid at room temperature, it is a saturated fat. For example, Crisco, coconut oil, peanut butter. Those are considered saturated fats because they are solid at room temperature. An unsaturated fat is something that is in liquid form at room temperature. Canola oil, olive oil, sunflower oil, things like that that are actually in a liquid form at room temperature are unsaturated fats. There are other things that are unsaturated fats that maybe we wouldn't think of, and that's things like nuts. Nuts actually fall under the unsaturated fat column, and cheese and cream fall under the saturated fat column. Even though cream is liquid at room temperature, it is full of saturated fat. And that's okay. It's okay to have a little bit of that, but we really want to steer ourselves towards the unsaturated. And that is where WW shines. The foods that have the lowest smart points are the ones that fall into the unsaturated fat column. Did you ever notice that you can have more olive oil than you can coconut oil? And that's because olive oil is unsaturated. So just a few things to think about as far as what's the difference between the healthy and the unhealthy fats. Now, what do you do with that information? So what do you do with it? 
right? What do you do with that information? I want you to remember that with saturated fats, those are the bad fats. Those are the solid state fats. Those are the ones that lead to heart failure, high risk of heart issues, clogged blood vessels, where unsaturated fats lead to powering your brain, giving your body the brain function to do its daily tasks. It's good for your heart. It's good for your soul. So what do you, how do you determine how much saturated versus unsaturated fat? Do you need to study food labels? Do you need to be a food label expert? No. WW has done all of the work for you. So what you need to do with the knowledge that you have is remember when you're eating things like peanut butter, meats, cheeses, the reason the points are higher and WW's done all the work for us, they've determined that the points are higher due to saturated fats. And when you're eating things like olive oil, salmon, nuts, the points are lower because they are unsaturated fat. So I love that I don't have to read the ingredients of every label. All I have to do is plug some numbers into a calculator and WW pops out what they know is a healthy and unhealthy food for me to be eating. Is it okay to still have cheese? Yes, of course. Is it okay to have saturated fat? Of course it is. You just limit it. And that's where freestyle smart points come into play. Your points for meat are going to be higher than your points for chicken, such as red meat, roast, pork chops are going to be higher than things such as chicken, salmon, fish because of the saturated fats. So this week, I suggest that you map out a typical weekday and what you eat in a weekday and a typical weekend and what you eat on the weekend and figure out how much unsaturated and saturated fats are you eating. What's the difference between what you're eating during the week versus what you're eating on the weekend? I know that a lot of people struggle with the weekends, families in town, you're doing things with your kids kids, you're going out to dinner, you're engaging with friends, you're having barbecues. There are a lot of things that would contribute to what you eat during the weekend, being a little bit higher in saturated fat or unhealthy foods than on the weekday. So sit down, map out two days, one weekday and one weekend and list everything that you eat. And then take one of the saturated fats that you're eating on the weekend and one of the saturated fats that you're eating during the week and swap it for an unsaturated fat. For example, take the potato chips that you ate on the weekend and swap it for roasted chickpeas and do the math and see what smart points you'll save. You will be amazed at the smart points that you're saving. Now, is it important to still have fat in your diet? absolutely. You should be eating in healthy fat every single day. I have really started to incorporate more healthy fats into my daily points. You're seeing that in recipes that I'm sharing where I'm using more olive oil. I'm eating more red meat. You'll see a lot of recipes where I'm having red meat instead of chicken. I know that red meat is a little higher in saturated fat, but I'm still trying to incorporate fats into my diet. I've been loving nuts. I found those great nut squares at Target. I've been eating those. I've been really trying to mindfully incorporate a little bit more of the healthy unsaturated fats into my diet. So look at a weekday, look at a weekend, do some swapping. I bet you're amazed at the smart points that you save. So now let's talk about this week's weigh-in. Like I mentioned before I went into my workshop, I decided that I wanted to do the Wendy plan again. So the Wendy plan essentially is a calculator online. I will link it down in the description box for you guys. But what you do is you put in your daily smart points and your weeklies and the Wendy plan calculator jumbles it all up and spits out the number of points that you eat every day. You select what day you want to be your high point day and that day you will eat a lot of your weekly points in addition to your daily points. And then the rest of the week, you have some higher point days and some lower point days. I'm telling you, you guys, for me, it keeps me in control. Like I said, my high point day, I still have to track. So I am a lot more mindful, incredibly more mindful what I'm eating on my high point day than I ever was when I just used all my weeklies in one day. It was just a free for all. I didn't track. I had no idea what I was eating. And being on the Wendy plan, I have to stay within those points, even though it's a lot of points. For me, it's between 50 and 53 on my high point day. So even though I can have all those points, I still have to stay within those points. I can't just go 
free for all hog wild on my splurge day or my high point day because I still have other higher point days throughout the week. And if I overindulge on that day, then it literally throws off the complete rest of the week on the Wendy plan. I find myself sticking with my points a lot better. I find myself a lot less hungry. I think the shuffling of the points really helps me. One day I get a higher amount of points, so I'm full and it leads me into the next day where my appetite isn't so strong. So I'm telling you, the Wendy plan has been a lifesaver for me. I really feel like when I'm at a, on a plateau, which is what it was originally designed for, or when I'm not losing or I'm maintaining or I'm steadily gaining just a little bit every week, I find that going back to the Wendy plan really helps stimulate my weight loss. So the first week that I did the Wendy plan, I lost 2.4 pounds. I vlogged the entire week. It is actually here on my YouTube. So I'm gonna insert a picture right up here of the the thumbnail of that Wendy plan vlog. I recommend that you watch it. I literally told you everything I ate throughout the whole week and I will link that video in the description box as well. But I vlogged that first week, lost 2.4 pounds. So I decided that after maintaining and then gaining a small amount last week, I was going to do the Wendy plan again. And I'm happy to report that I lost 2.8 yeah, 2.8 in one week on the Wendy plan. And that was with no exercise. I did not do my walks this last week, like I mentioned. So I am over the moon excited that I lost 2.8 pounds. I'm just under the 21 pound mark again, which is where I was a few weeks ago. So I'm well on my way to the 25 pounds that I really need to hit. So with that being said, and the feeling of control and seeing the success now in the second week of doing the Wendy plan, I'm going to go ahead and do the Wendy plan again next week. So I'm excited to see if even next Friday I have a great weight loss like I did this Friday. So I'm thrilled with 2.8 pounds. That's almost three pounds. I mean, it's two ounces shy of losing three pounds in one week, which is awesome. So I'm right back on track. I'm doing excellent. Thrilled with it. If you're interested in the Wendy plan, again, the calculator is linked down below, as well as the video where I talked all about the Wendy plan and took you through my entire week. There's also a lot of information on my Facebook group, Jen's WW Tribe. It's right there on the screen for you that talks about the Wendy plan as well. So if you're interested in just being part of a fabulous positive group, check out the Wendy plan. If you're interested in or the Wendy plan, if you're interested in a positive group, go on my Facebook group where there's information on the Wendy plan. And I also want to remind you guys, I know there's been a lot of discussion about the foods that we are ordering online and how we don't have to order foods online to lose weight or those foods that we order online are making us not lose weight. I call bull. I lost 2.8 pounds and I eat a lot of foods that I order online. So don't be afraid to order food online. There is no different difference in ordering food online than going to your local Safeway. You're buying food. It's fitting within your points. You're just buying it from a different source than you would going to a grocery store. And I know a lot of people have built bars and guess what? That's an online food. So if you're going to complain about people ordering food online, you probably shouldn't be eating built bars. Just saying. So feel free to do your journey however you want. Buy your food online if that's what makes you happy. If it stays within your points, if it keeps you on track, I plan on continuing to eat a lot of the foods that I buy online. And all of those links and discount codes are also down in the description box. So don't be afraid to check those out. Order some different foods that you can't find locally. And if it helps you stay on your journey and helps you lose 2.8 pounds, I'd say that that's a win. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming along with me. Thank you for all of your love and support. And I'm thrilled with my weight loss. Cannot wait to go on another week on the Wendy plan. If you have any questions for me, please leave them down in the, down in the comments as well as far as the Wendy plan goes. And I love you guys. Again, thank you. You're, you guys are so amazing. I'm so blessed to have such a supportive group of subscribers and new friends and family on YouTube. So if you're new to my channel, I'd like to extend a big welcome. I do a weigh-in video every week. Whether I gain or lose, I'm here to share my journey with you no matter what. So if you're new, make sure you subscribe. If you hit that bell, you'll be notified every time that I upload. I know that they've been having some issues where if you're not 
belled into someone's channel if you're not being notified sometimes you'll miss their video so definitely hit that bell give this video a thumbs up comment down below i want to know how your week went were you successful did you gain did you lose did you feel like you had a good week a bad week what can you do better and how are you going to incorporate some unsaturated healthy fats into your next week i love you guys so incredibly much and i'll see you in the next video bye guys